If you want to take your hair from this to this, then, then keep, keep on, on watching. watching. Girl, what are you doing? That was my line. No, it was mine. Don't be sitting up here getting sassy with me just because you got a little extra hair on your head. Girl, I'm not. I'm literally you. I just got a little extra hair on my head, but girl, you still look fire, queen. You know Thank that. Thank you. I, I mean, I know I do. I am you. You are me. I, I get it. See, that's what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and show them how we did it. You know what? You're right. Let's do it. All right, y'all, so let's get started. So this is the packaging from Curls Queen. Very cute how they wrapped it up. I love the brown bow. We're just gonna take that off and get into the inside. Once you open her up, you're gonna be greeted by this very nice kit. It's got all of the supplies that you'll need for your clip-ins. And it comes with this very nice detangling brush. I love the color of this brush and the finish. And then we have some extra clip-ins in case you need any to add on to your wefts. And then we also have a nice satin bonnet. This bonnet is so cute. I love the two-tone color. It's gold on the outside and a nice nude on the inside. And it does come with an adjustable band. So if your hair is a lot bigger than what it usually is, it's still gonna fit your head perfectly. And these are the clip-ins in this very nice packaging. We've got a thank you card, as well as details on how to care for your clip-ins and extra information if you need it to return it. So we're gonna open them up and this is what they look like straight out of the package. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ties, but you wanna make sure you don't cut the west because you'll have split up clip-ins. But look at this texture, guys. This is true 4C, 4B hair. This is true, you cannot tell me otherwise. The texture that I'm using is the Kinky Coily Texture in 18 inches, and it comes with 10 pieces for a full head. Now look at how full this is. You will definitely have more than enough hair for your head. But now we're moving on to washing the clip-ins. So I just like to separate them before I do so, and I'm just gonna wash them one by one with my favorite shampoo here. And I like to make sure that the clip-in is completely saturated. It's so crazy, this is 100% virgin human hair. It literally acts like my hair when it was loose. It was hard to wet just because it was low porosity. It just took a little bit longer for the water to fully soak the hair. But I'm putting on the shampoo here and then I'm just going to lather that up and wash every single clip in. I like to take my time during this process because I wanna make sure all of the soap is out, all of the shampoo is gone. So I take my time rinsing and I take my time shampooing each piece thoroughly. And I wanna just show you how much longer the hair got when it was fully soaked. It got a lot longer. I mean, the shrinkage is real. But now it's time to condition with one of my favorite conditioners and this is how the hair looks once I do that. I let it sit for about three minutes or so and then rinse everything out and this is what they are looking like. So I'm going to be doing this in my studio. I'm just clearing out this little side table and placing it in front of my chair because that is where I'm going to be making them. So. I'm getting my clip-ins here. I've already done this section, but I'm gonna be showing you how I did it. I'm putting a heavy object on top of the clip-ins to secure them, and then I begin to separate. I'm doing them very small because my locks are small, and then I'm gonna brush this area out, and then we will begin twisting. This setup worked best for me because I did try to put the clip-ins in between my legs, but that was just not working. This way here allows me to have a better posture while also working more effectively as well. Now, I was able to catch up on my favorite shows and movies because this process did take a very, very long time. I'm doing the lock smaller because I do have micro locks, so I didn't want them to be too big. I would rather have them smaller than too big because you would be able to definitely tell a difference. But this is how one twist lock is looking. 
you can definitely see the curl pattern within the lock. So don't worry, we are not done yet. We are just doing this first and then later on we're gonna go in and crochet them into locks. I just find that doing one thing at one time allows me to go a lot faster than doing two things at one time. So this is just my process. They are natural colors, so I know they'll bloom with my hair pretty well. But the cool thing is, if you do have a different hair color or you want it to color match, you can definitely dye or bleach these clip-ins because they are 100% virgin human hair. They literally are like natural hair. It's so crazy. <laughs> Now that we've created all of the twists, it is now time to transform them into locks. So I'm moving over to my vanity because my vanity mirror is heavy and I'm using a 0.5 millimeter crochet hook and this is a double one. And I am just going to point the crochet hook down into the twist and as I am going in and out, I'm going to be rotating the twist as well. I hope that makes sense, but I will definitely be showing you a couple of examples. Also, make sure you're being very careful when you're doing this technique because you can damage your thumb. There are two little hooks on that tool, so just be careful and keep that in mind. But now, if you do have larger locks, then of course, make your twist larger and then they should look more so like your locks. I started out with two strand twists with my locks and they have a little bit of texture, so I thought this was the best method for me. But as you can see, there is a difference. But I'm just going to continue to transform these twists into locks and just let you follow along. And once you finish your lock extensions, they should look a little something like this. I'm very impressed with how they are looking. So now it's time to go ahead and start installing them. And now for my favorite part, styling. So we got to do something with these edges. They are looking quite tragic and I am way overdue for a retie. But I'm going in with my favorite gel here, just brushing down my edges. Y'all know I like to do my edges before I do any type of makeup. I just feel like the look comes out very cleaner there. And I'm just doing five swoops with one in the center across my hairline. And once I get all of those together and in place, I'm going to use my satin scarf here and just tie those down loosely. Not too tight because you don't want to have a headache. And I'd like to do my sideburns as well. And now I've done the face. This is what we're looking like. Y'all, we're looking put together. But the edges have laid down quite nicely. And I am going ahead and getting ready to install the clip-ins. So look at the back. My back is a little on the thinner side. So I'm going to start back there. My perimeter is way finer than the rest of my head. But look at the instant volume that I got. Look, look, the instant volume. <laughs> like if my hair was like that in the back, like you would not be able to tell me nothing. But I'm going in and I'm using my five clip width on the next section this is the widest area of my head but look at look at what we're looking like i'm liking it so far and i cannot stress this enough do not do this on freshly retied hair make sure you have a good bit of new growth because if you do not you might end up tearing out your hair or even if you have traditional locks do not do this on a fresh retwist do not do it but y'all look at the volume we've gotten already just off of two clips this comes with 10 wefts this bundle so you literally don't need a lot i've used only three so far and i'm only going to use four on my head and i've got maximum volume already 
I must say I am really digging these clip-ins. They're great quality. They mimic natural hair to a T. Type 4 hair is literally crazy. And look at the volume. Like, there's no complaints here. They set you up with a really nice kit and you're on your way. But this is style number one, guys. We're into the styles now. I'm so excited. Look at this. The instant volume that I have. And then she's moving with the rest of the hair. Stop playing with me. <laughs> but I love how it instantly added so much more volume to the back and now we're getting into the style too which is a nice little side part y'all know i love a side part moment and y'all look look at the volume if my hair was like this naturally <laughs> but hey that's why we got the clip ins if you want to do a little something different you know if you trying to do some different styles and add a little bit more uh and style number three we're doing like a half up half down situation but I'm leaving the sides out because I just want to see what this looks like. And I think she's really cute. You can add another clip in in the top center where the ponytail is if you want. But I like the vibe. I like it a lot. And now moving on to style number four. I am doing two pigtail buns. Oh my gosh. This is one of my go-tos and I just had to try it out with these clip ins. And look how ginormous this bun is. I cannot get over that. What the heck? Let me wait till my hair gets like this naturally. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But this is the cutest look. Now the back, you do have to play around with it a little bit in the back so you don't see the clip-ins, but she is still a vibe. Style number five is gonna be my go-to half up, half down. I do this on my natural hair all the time and I am obsessed with how this looks with the clip-ins. Look at all that extra volume. Oh my gosh, you can tell I was feeling myself here. Like, come on. <laughs> this has to be one of my favorites, but the next one, look at that bag, ah, goodness. The next one may be one of my faves too. And the last and final style is gonna be an elegant low bun. Y'all know I love a good classy style, a good timeless, just a nice minimal look. And this is what we're doing with this one. So I put my hair in a loose low bun back there and I'm gonna take a hairnet. If y'all been with me since the wedding styling tutorials, y'all know the hairnet is clutch with catching all those flyaways. So I'm just gonna wrap that around the bun and this is gonna be look number six. Oh my gosh, I'm just so impressed with these clip-ins and all of the styles that I was able to create with them. And even when the lock extensions get older, they're gonna look better with time. But y'all, all of the information will be in the description box below. Let me know what you thought about this video and which is your favorite style. And yes, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Curls Queen. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.